During the Last Supper, the author of the fourth gospel records that Jesus gave an important declaration to his disciples. In John chapter 14, verses 16, 17, and 26, we read, And I pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. This emphasis that the Holy Ghost would be sent by the Father after the ascension of Jesus Christ is reiterated one last time by the Savior here on the Mount of Olives prior to his ascension into heaven. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Savior again says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. The importance of having the Holy Ghost with us is, has been emphasized by President Russell M. Nelson, who stated, in a coming day, it will be impossible to survive spiritually without the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost. These scriptures, together with President Nelson's invitation, cause me to reflect upon my own life and how I am doing in receiving the Holy Ghost I love the opportunity that I have as I ponder upon these words to find ways that I can more fully receive the Holy Ghost in my life.